So I'm kind of starting at the end. The outcome is the Princess of kind of Princess of Cups reversed. This card's about listening to your intuition, and when the cards reverse, it's like everything's going wrong and haywire because you're not paying attention, you're not listening, you're afraid to act on something. This card is telling you that you need to leave something in the past. The Two of Wands is in the position of moving into the past right here. So um, when you have the Two of Wands, this is like a choice to be made, choosing from one between one or another, and and then planning your future and moving forward. And remember at the bottom here it was the three of wands reversed. So this is like you've made your choice, you want to move forward, but reverse is like you can't. So we got more than one signpost of things like holding us up. There's like, I just, I feel stilted. It's like a horse at the gate trying to, you know, trying to run and you can't. Um, we have the King of Swords, Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles. What is this reading about? Is this a love reading about a relationship falling apart? Or is this a, about not moving? How is this person not moving forward? In the hopes, we have the Seven of Cups. So this is the Seven of Cups, and this is reversed. It's like, usually if you get this card reversed, it's like, you've been trying to choose for too long. You need to just, like, choose, you know? Make a choice. You'll feel better, you know? Pick anything. It'll be fine. You know, it's kind of that state of mind. But, and in, in you're hearing, you're hearing a message. You're hearing it. You know what it is. But it's like you're afraid to move forward. Didn't I just do a reading just like this? <laughs> I think it was, was that Aries? I don't remember. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start reading from the start because I'm not getting, I'm getting confusion <laughs> with the Seven of Cups. Um... So, um, you, you're hangman, you probably in the past had the hangman, it's reversed, which means that da, 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 you can move forward. But what's keeping you from moving forward? A torturous relationship. Okay. Um, moving into the immediate past is the two of wands. You've made a choice about something, you're watching it manifest before your eyes in those ships. Something beautiful is coming. So this has already started. We've already started with something. We've started with the new beginning. But what's halting it, here we go, is something needs to be left in the past. What needs to be left in the past? Because that is causing interference. So we, in the position of how you feel about yourself, is this need to defend yourself, but the cards are burst, so you've given up that desire to protect and defend yourself. You don't need to. And the tr this is how you feel about your situation. The truth of your situation is the Three of Pentacles reversed. Again, unable, this is the beginning of a creative venture. This is what, maybe your creativity is something that brings finances. And, um, if you're in the early stage, and this is a card about working together, these three people working together, um, creating something. I also think of Michelangelo and, and the Pope, and, and you know, it's like you're really working hard to please someone and make things work out, get going in the early stages of something, of a business. And, um, you know, you want to get paid for this, but the cards reverse, so, you know, it's making me think non-cooperative, that maybe you're not cooperating with the powers that be around you that could 
move you forward. And, and then you kind of being all stubborn about not leaving something behind. I don't know. I hate to say that, um, but that's what I was feeling. Um, I feel, I got this feeling of like, I'm like a horse that wants to run out of the gate, you know, in a horse race. And everyone's gate opened but mine. And I'm like, when do I get to go? <laughs> you know? So the King of Pentacles, this is an earth sign. There are two people here. I think these are people. A Queen of Swords and a King of Pentacles. I don't know why I think these are people. But the King of Pentacles is Cant uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. That could be an Earth sign male. And I'm feeling the male energy there. I'm also feeling the female energy with the Queen of Swords. But it could be feminine energy. You know, it doesn't, this could be a man, but coming from a more uh, feminine place. But the Queen of Swords is to the point, you know, um, very exact about her expression, the truth, um, expressing the truth, interested in the truth. She isn't going to bullshit you. There isn't going to be any, you know, you know, dance the, of sidestepping. It's, she's going to bring it to you straight. Um, the King of Pentacles is someone very good at making money. Their, um, their concerns, their, their connection is, you know, with the physical material world. Usually that's where they're coming from. So they might not necessarily be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, but it could be someone coming from that place. And there could be someone involved a uh, woman involved coming from the place of the truth, being honest, being straightforward, and, you know, not wasting words. I don't know if these are a couple. Oh, people, you... What do we... See, we have the center of the reading as a relationship. Is there a third party involved here? You're bold. Is there a princess of cups interfering? Is there a young woman interfering? Is there a young woman interfering? Is she's kind of being nasty about it? And here's a card of a choice to be made. This is a card of choice. Is this a relationship where someone has come in and uh, like there's an affair or there's uh, some interference by somebody outside? And it's like, you already know this. You're not even being defensive anymore. It's like, what the hell? You know, you just like... <laughs> I don't know. This is what I'm getting. And maybe all the work you put into this, it's like, you know, you're not cooperating. You're not going to go along with it. Um, okay, I hate saying this because then I hope I'm wrong. Um, so I feel like, I feel like um, there's a female here. And you just want the truth, you know, like this is who's reading this is. She's coming from the Queen of Swords position. I want to know the truth. Just give me the truth. Don't bullshit me anymore. And we have the King of Pentacles. He's all full of himself. He makes all the money. He's bringing in most of the money. And and then we get this little, we got this one. This is a young, younger woman, and she's reversed. So she's like a troublemaker, interfering in the relationship. But still, this card, I still think, represents listening to your intuition. Oh, God. And it's like you need to leave. You're going to leave something in the past. Either be able to forget about this relationship or walk away. Forget about the interference of a third person or walk away from the whole thing. Because you can't move forward until you make a choice. You aren't able to cooperate in, with your daily activities, with whatever, when you go to work, whatever it is you just started. And here, we have a choice that needs to be made, and this card was reversed. 
So the choice needs to be made. You need to make a choice and leave something in the past, whether it's the King of Pentacles, whether it's this guy you leave, or whether it's her, the princess. But somebody needs to be left in the past. You've been tormented enough. And you, you, you have the, this is, this is a um, major arcana here. You have been given permission to move forward with something in your life, but you can't do it. Because this torturous relationship is just raining on your parade. Oh, this might be my last reading today. It's not happy. Okay, so I'm going to do, um... I'm going to do uh, a love reading with the Doran Virtue. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, well, that's clearly it. Unrequited love. Oh, my God. Well, I think we might. Uh, unrequited love. There isn't enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That fell out of the deck. Okay. Well, it sounds like it's given this relationship the kibosh. So, um, if anybody can relate to this and you don't want to make a public statement, send me a private message. In the drop down, there's my email address. Oh, I don't know if this applied to anybody. There weren't any cards of denial. There wasn't the, you know. So, it's like you know everything's out front. You know what's going on. You just want the truth. Okay, let's get out of that reading. Just get back to the love reading. Here we go. What does Pisces need to know? Okay, so I have to close my eyes when I do this because I see the cards and I start. So I'm going to cut. Okay, wow. We have the Ace of Cups. This is a new beginning, a new love beginning, a new romantic relationship. And this could be just loving yourself. But it looks like, uh, what are we doing? This is crowning. Whoa. Oh, seriously? All right, um, here, um, this is you, make, getting work done, doing what you need to do, focusing on the job. This is Archangel Michael, gives a message for you. Listen to your intuition, something new and beautiful and wonderful is coming. He's asking you to wake up, come out of this deep sleep, follow me, I have something beautiful for you. And then we have, of all things, the King of Swords. The King of Swords. So I don't know if the King of Swords is another expression of you wanting the truth. Or if it's um, an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Wow, look what's at the top of this card. The Happy Family card. That's the next card for ya. Ten of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Did I explain what all these cards mean? New romance coming. There's new love. This it's is the ace. It's the beginning of a whole new thing. And we got out of that. It's like a conclusion. It's the Ten of Cups. A new happy romantic love life. Um, so it's like you here working hard. Getting your stuff done. Actually able to move forward. And um, Archangel Michael, listen to your intuition, follow your guidance. There's new beautiful stuff unfolding for you. And here, this is the, what is this? Is this somebody else? Let me put a clarifier on that. Is that you? Who is the, um, the King of Swords? Who is the King of Swords right here? Can you give us a clarifier on the King of Swords? Let us know who this is, what this is, what it's about. Woo! Okay. 
too many cards falling out. But the top card was, oh, I don't know. This could be a woman, if you're a man, but you know, like right now, 100% of my viewers are women. So let me go for another card, since three cards fell out. I feel like I need to leave that one. That could mean that it's a romantic interest. No. Really? Okay, that doesn't make sense. We got the fox. Somebody, you know, devilish and so but this card isn't reversed. So that doesn't really make sense. Can we, can we make some sense of this spirit, please? I'm confused. The King of Swords, who is the King of Swords in all of this? We got the pathway, a direction to follow. Okay. Who's the King of Swords? He's a romantic interest. Oh. Do you need to be careful of a, like a woman that's kind of like I want to say the word foxy, but not meaning attractive from the a 70s way of saying it. More like, um, she can't be trusted. And this is your romantic interest. But there's, there's a pathway to follow. It's like the path will be lit, what to do. Okay, so, I don't know. It's like, okay. Really? Gonna get left those clarifiers off. Um, is that a coyote? Or just a neighborhood dog howling? Very interesting. Okay, I have five minutes left. We need to do a clarifier here. I want to read this, an oracle card for you. It's um, the journey of love. I don't know. If this reading applies to someone, please let me know. Especially this. Do you have a friend you can't trust that's like letting a chicken out in the hen house? I'm letting a chicken, letting a fox in the hen house. Beauty. Oh, this is about your own inner beauty. Okay. 58. I've had people like that and friends like that and Everything just falls flat when they try to do that. You just be yourself, be honest, sincere, and let everything unfold. I'll just let other people make fools of themselves. You just stand by. Just you don't have to do much of anything. I mean, that's been my experience. So for others, it might be different, but I just usually let people wreck their own way. You know, make their own just mess if they want to interfere in your life in a, you know, in a diabolical way. Just let them, you think you to let them go and do their own destruction. So the beauty card. To celebrate the divine feminine is to honor her beauty, her endless bounty and abundant creativity. You are a vehicle of her beauty. This is radiance that has nothing to do with soul-destroying cultural stereotypes based on physical appearance. It is the radiance that comes from feeling beautiful within, allow, of allowing all that you are to shine through. You shine through you and be witnessed in the world. You are being asked to let the inner beauty become one with your physical self. You, I'm going to turn this timer off. It's, I'm worried about it ticking in the middle of this. 
Um, you are being asked to let the inner beauty become one with your physical self. You don't have to change the way you look or become more or look to become more of the divine beauty that you are. You just need to change the way you look at yourself. Behold the divine within you. You are in the process of healing past wounds about your appearance, your body, your sexuality, finding purity in all of yourself and becoming ready to share that with others in a deeper and more open way without shame or self-criticism. Take your time and fall in love with you, what you are. Then you can become not the victim of others, not the victim of others' own protected shame, but the love necessary for the shame of the world to heal. Wow, I've never read this. This oracle indicates a significant change in self-perception taking place within you, an ability to love and accept yourself more completely than you ever have before, quite simply because you have grown and there is more divinity awakening in your heart than ever before. The nature of the divine is love and you are realizing that you don't have to change to be beautiful. Allow this development to grow swiftly and embrace your un and embrace your unique your un your un your uniqueness, sorry. To okay, so um, the nature of the divine is to love and you are the real you are realizing that you don't have to change to be beautiful. Allow this development to grow swiftly and embrace the uniqueness, beloved. You are an unique, an exquisite flower in the heavenly garden. And then there's a little poem. How many times I've looked in your eyes and sailed away beyond my dreams to a shelter thought, to a shelter thought on a quiet beach where the sand is soft as flower. You may never know this place, and someday when you look in my eyes, I will tell you. This is you talking to yourself. This is your higher self. 